We are going to continue in the series that we've been spending time on, looking at our identity in Christ, who we are in Christ. And so I want to, want to talk about and, and, and summarize this truth that the Apostle Paul brings out in Romans 8, which is also a very important key for us in living the in Christ life, the all that God has made available to us through our identification with Christ by breaking the power of sin, giving us, an, uh, releasing us from the old past life and giving us a brand new life to live and taking us out of uh, the influence of this, of this world uh, and then making us seat, sit together with Christ in heavenly places. How do we live that out in our everyday walk? So this message today is titled the spirit of life, a spirit of life. We're, we're trying to understand that. So in Christ, we have the law of the spirit of life. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. And I want you to know as a believer that you can walk free from the control of every sinful, evil habit in the flesh. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, sometimes some believers may say, well, I have a short temper. I keep getting angry all the time. Well, you can be free. Some, people, some may say, you know, I have always lustful thoughts and lustful desires. You can be free. Some people say, you know, I, I, I just can't control my addiction to shopping. I need to spend money. I feel I get some gratification by spending money. Well, you can be free. Whatever it is that is controlling you in the flesh, the law of sin, the control of sin, that ha the sin that evil has over your desires. You can be free because of the law or the influence of the dominion of the spirit of life. Secondly, he also says that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus sets us free from the law of sin and the death. So what is this death part he's talking about? Now, death simply is the opposite of, of life. It's the absence of life. It's the absence of all that God is life and all that comes from God. It's the absence of death. So what produces death? Sickness produces death. Sickness is, let's say, a milder version of death. It eventually leads us to death. It's a milder version. Anything else, that, that any chronic illness, abnormality, it's a milder version of death. And sin is, is the cause behind so much of that. And the, Holy, and, the, and the Apostle Paul here is saying, that the law of the spirit of life in Christ is setting me free or has set me free even from this death. The other key that Paul talks about is this. He says, you know, we must walk according to the spirit of life. How does that happen? He explains to us there in verse 14, as many as are led by the spirit of God. So in order to walk according to the Spirit, you and I let the Holy Spirit lead us because we are led by the Spirit. So instead of being led by the pull of the sinful desires of the flesh, we are led, we are not led by the pull of the flesh, we are led by the Spirit. So I'm listening to what the Holy Spirit is speaking in me. The Holy Spirit in me, as he speaks, is the one who gives me the ability to call God Father. He's bearing witness. He's speaking to me inside. And he's telling me, this is the way. Walk in it. This is the way. Walk in it. So I yield to the inner witness of the Holy Spirit. I'm led by the Spirit. And therefore, I walk according to the Spirit. And that's key. To walk under the law of the Spirit of life. Another key. Romans 8, 26. To walk in the law of the Spirit of life. Learn to pray with the Holy Spirit. Learn to pray with the Holy Spirit. Pray because He helps us in our weaknesses. And this is how we overcome our weaknesses. Pray with the Holy Spirit. Pray in other tongues. Pray as much as you can in other tongues because that's the way God has ordained here in Romans 8 to overcome our weaknesses. So I want us to understand here that as a believer, this is your inheritance. Part of what God has given to us in new creation He's given to you the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. 